going to show you one of the new patterns for us this year in 2013 uh, that we really hadn't had to throw before on the Upper Manistee, but definitely effective. Uh, it's a, just a black damsel pattern. I don't have a name for it, but pretty simple pattern to tie. Definitely matches one of the uh, more exciting terrestrial bites that you'll ever see. And uh, here we go. So the first thing that I use is Pearl Core Braid by uh, Hairline, comes in a variety of colors, and on this one I'm just going to use like the uh, black one. I'm just making the damsel has a long tail. Come in here, tie that in. Keep your thread kind of in the back there. Alright, next thing that we've done is uh, we've pre-cut our foam on uh, one of the hairline cutters that we have. This is a medium size used black foam over the top. Take this, tie it in right there in the, the tail end. Sneak your thread underneath, bring it about three quarters up. Again, secure your thread. Oops. And what that piece right there is just comes from the cutter on the foam. So we'll just kind of get rid of that. We're going to then take a bunch of uh, bluish. Uh, green also works. Pearl will probably work. Uh, rainbow would probably work. But we've just decided to kind of go down the black and blue form here. I guess for how I tie, you um, more is better on the flash than less. So we're just going to match this in. This is going to be our underwing. Bring our scissors. And, you know, usually we tie, you know, half a dozen of these before a day of, day's adventure. So you can use that later. And put a little kip tail. On uh, next for the black wing. Seems like when damsels hatch, they kind of come in a variety of colors. Uh, I like to use the hair stacker on this. This will make Russ mad and proud that I'm using this thing. A little music for us. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull the under fur out from this and use a trash bag for that. Now it's kind of organized our tips a little bit. We're going to match the length of our crystal flash now. Actually what I like to do is I just made a mistake there but I right, keep the length there then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the extra. So now I have a tie-in point I don't have to worry about it with the foam. Alright, little trick for me. There's way better fly tires out there than I am. And I understand uh, what I'm good at and what I'm not. Um, but durability with my patterns is pretty important. Because just being a, a river hippie, I don't have as much time as I want all the time. So what I like to do now is I just put a little bit of head cement right there. Kind of grabs the thread to the kip tail and you're good to go. Alright, <clears throat> next thing what we're going to do is now take some black rubber legs. There's two of them here. Line them up. Try to put them in the same spot. We're going to separate them. Pull them to the side. We're going to take our thread, move it forward. This 
move here just helps it so my phone doesn't rotate. Come back. Come now back to your original tie-in point. This will give you a bullet head. Bring the thread through there three times. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come in, we're going to get rid of that. Kind of adjust our wing just a little bit. We're going to trim our legs there in a second. But as you're kind of seeing our fly develop here, uh, one of the things you can probably imagine is that a black fly in the water is really hard to see. And there's a couple different things that you can use to bring the fly um, visible to the angler as you're casting it. Now the damsels definitely have a black wing, black body, and uh, one of the things we're going to do now is add a piece of high vis just as a small indicator post. Take a clump of it, it comes in a bag. Get, you know, some, that's probably a little bit too much, but get some in your hand, you know, bring it in to the tie-in point. Again, three wraps probably there. Bring in your scissors. Now you have a little post. It was, uh, as the fly developed, that was a pretty important step for anglers to see. Bring your legs up above your fly, kind of guess a little bit for length. That looks good there. You can see as they sprout out, that's going to just act as a little bit of movement, struggling bug on the surface. Bring your thread back to the tie-in point. If you have a whip finisher, finish off your fly. A couple of half hitches here. Good. I like the pull. Now, this step is not required. Again, durability factor. I find if I take a little bit of the head cement and just kind of coat that area right there where I did most of my tying, that fly definitely will last. All right, now we're gonna figure out the length of our bug. It kind of felt like the tail is about the equal length, maybe a little bit longer, one and a half times the length of the body. Boy, I've been fine on these, so kind of hit that right there. Trusty little Bic lighter. Try not to burn yourself here. And you're done. There you go, little damselfly.